Hi, my name is Nikki Lerzak. I'm the Instructional Services Librarian for Genesee Community College, and this video is going to show you how to complete the birthday assignment. As of the spring 2021 semester, the library is currently open Monday through Friday from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. For our current hours, you can always check the library's website, but if you are located uh, close to the Batavia campus or down in College Village, you are welcome to come use the library's print materials. So please, if that's convenient to you, we do have a lot of print resources that are great for this assignment. But this video is going to show you what you have access to online. So we're going to start on the college homepage and we're going to head over here to the library's website. And then when we're on the library's website, we're going to go to course guides and we're going to look for the tab up at the top that says English. And then as I hover over it, you'll see the drop down and now I can click on English 100 online. There are a lot of resources on this site and I'm not going to cover all of them. I'm just going to highlight a couple of them. And the first one I'm going to point to is over here in this left hand side box, the books and encyclopedia databases. And it's the one called the African American Almanac Chronology. Now, when you log on or try to access a library material from off campus, you are prompted to prove that you are a GCC student by using your MyGCC or network account. If you have any problems being able to log in with that account, you should definitely reach out to the help desk so that you can access library materials because without it, you are not going anywhere. So I've been passed through because I'd already logged in this morning. He didn't ask me to do it again. And here I am looking back at the, what feels like the beginning of time, right? We're back at 1492. This is a little too far back for me, though, as you can see, the chronology for the African American Almanac does go back to the start of when we would want to start tracking that history. But what I'm going to look for is 2002. I would like to see information from there. So I'm going to use Control F on my keyboard and I'm going to search little search boxes opened up down there in the corner and it tells me that there are seven instances of 2002 now it's going to highlight them for me I can either walk through them by clicking the little next button or I can just scroll because I can see that you know there's 2001 here's 2002 I know I'm in that section now the way this assignment tends to go is we can usually find some information from the year or we can find some information from a specific day but it's a little challenging in some places to find the exact year and day that you might be looking for. So we kind of triangulate a little bit. So here are, like I said, there are only seven instances from 2002, which is clearly not the whole year. I've got a little bit of the beginning. So I see February and March, then I see May and June, and that's all I've got. So it's not a lot, but if one of these dates worked for you, that'd be great. Okay. Now I'm going to come over here and as it sounds, I'm going to go to African American history day by day, which is a book where I can now search by day and then we'll see what years we come up with. So here we are. I've got my different months and I'm going to come over here to March and now I've got all of March and I think I'll just go with March 25th because why not? That's today. So for March 25th, what I get is an entry from 1843, tells me a little bit about that, and then some related information about it, websites and books, and then an instance from 1931 with some information, and then again, some sources that I could follow up on, and then also noteworthy. So also on this day in 1942, Aretha Franklin was born, so happy birthday, Aretha Franklin. So that's not a lot either, but it's certainly something. Um, for all of these entries that we've been looking at, uh, you can see that there are options to send this information to Google Drive or to share it to Microsoft OneDrive. You can always email this information to yourself or download it onto a computer. Or if you were in the library and you wanted to, you could print it out. So there are always options for how to get this information out of the database and into where you can work with it for this assignment. So always look to see what your options are in terms of saving or downloading. All right, so we've looked at two books, one by year, one by day. I'm going to point out one more book. It's something called American Decades, and I have two different sets for that. You can see this covers, uh, well, it covers from 1990 to 1991, but the book itself actually goes back to 1900. So you could cover any time between 1900 and 1999. And then this book specifically is 2000 to 2009. And since I'm focusing on 2002, I'm going to come here. And what I'm looking at, you can see are categories. So you can see I've been playing around a little bit by the purple here with government and politics and lifestyles and social trends. So what I'm going to do for this one is come to medicine and health because I want to play with something new. 
So what I get is it starts me off with a chronology, and these are the important events in medicine and health from 2000 to 2009, and it breaks them up by year, and you can see within 2000, I can see January 17th and 18th, January 21st, so it hops around, but I am getting a number of things from uh, many months worth, although <laughs> we did really well, I think, until May, and then we hit August, and then that was it. So and then we jumped to 2001, which, again, has a number of entries, but... Then we move on. So 2002, there's not a lot here. What have I got? One, two, three, four, five, six. So six entries from 2002 is also not a lot. But at the end of the chronology, what I'll get are sort of important stories from this time period. So in this nine-year span, you'll see that they've pulled some articles. So here's something from September 10th, 2002, uh, talking about a reaction to 9-11, and uh, apparently the the following impacts that 9-11 had. So it goes on and so these are primary sources so it's pulling articles, it's pulling different things. So this is give you a lot of background information about your time period but the chronology is the very specific date instances. Um, to use these resources you'd have to find something that would be good from a time period. So here we go, there's a poll that was conducted in July of 2008. So if your time period was the end of July 2008, this would be a good resource because it's from that time period. So it's a little tricky to use, but the decades have a really interesting feel to them because they have all those different categories that you could focus in on. And that's definitely one way students usually approach this assignment is to say, I'm really interested in fashion, maybe I'm a fashion major, and I would like to do this assignment through the lens of what was going on in fashion when I was born, what were designs, what were people wearing, uh, what were the designers doing. So you could take that approach. So that's that would definitely be a cool way to do it. All right. So and as I said, all of these emails you can download, you can print, you can save. So that's a lot of the cool books that I have over here. There aren't a thousand books, and you can see we've only got a couple of different interesting focuses like military history, American Indians, Native Americans, uh, African Americans, so we have a couple of those. But So that's one approach. The other approach would be to use a newspaper. Now, InfoTrack newsstands, as it says, will let you search papers from many international locations as well as places within the U.S. And because it's a newspaper and it's printed daily, I will have information from specific day and year. Uh, the way this works when you come into InfoTrack newsstand is you'll want to go to Advanced Search. And when I get into Advanced Search, I want to come down a little bit to the publication dates and change that to On. And today is March 25th, so I'm going to stay with March 25th. But I'm going to stick with my other year of 2002 instead of today. And I don't have to put anything in the boxes. I can just search and pull up all of the things that were printed on March 25th, 2002, of which there were a lot. I mean, I see over 10,000 items. So I might be inclined to want to limit this in some way. And two really interesting ways you might approach the limits would be to either go by where they're coming from or what kind of an article they are. So publication title over here on the right lets you see where these different articles came from. So we start off with a lot of articles coming out of England. So I see uh, two London newspapers. Then I see Mexico. And then I go back to England. So if I was really interested in what was going on in Australia, I can see the advertiser from Adelaide, so um, I'd like something from Sydney. So what have I got from Sydney? I see the Daily Telegraph comes out of Sydney. All right, I'm going to go with Sydney. So you can take this approach of where you want the news to come from. So now I only have 175 items. And I can also then limit to what kind of an article. So a short article, a letter to the editor. Maybe I want to see what somebody was thinking. What kind of complaints did we have? Again, this is Australian news, so it won't probably make as much sense to me as someone who lives in Sydney would, but so I can take that approach, and I'm closing those limits out so that I go back to just being limited by the date of March 25th. If I decide to do document type first, you'll see I have a lot more options. So there's more letters to the editors. I could look at things like movie reviews or book reviews or a dance review, a theater review. So I have all these other options that I could do to focus on particular types of articles, uh, TV re program review. So you can have um, any particular way you want to focus the search. 
I could also search within for particular words. I mean, maybe I want to talk about what was going on with cats on this day. So I could look for cats. There are lots of different ways you could approach this assignment in here. Okay, so that's news, info track newsstand, which also, once you're looking at these, uh, let's see, the king of fat cats faces lean time. Again, you can see that same sort of stuff, saving, downloading, printing, you have those options. A different database, but also exceedingly cool, is the New York Times Historical, which I definitely recommend. And just like before, I'm going to want to change the searching to a particular day, and I'm going to stick with March 25th. And this time I have to do the typing, so 2002 goes in there. And one thing I'd recommend, you can see there's lots of different ways to focus this search. So I could go by editorials or cartoons. I could go by obituaries, uh, the weather. You could always talk about what the weather was like on your birthday. But the really good one here, I think, is front page article. So I'm going to do that. All right, so there were eight articles on the front page of March 25th, 2002. And I just clicked on one randomly, it doesn't matter which, and now I've got a page view option, which lets me see the whole front page. So then I know March 25th was a Monday, I know uh, what the weather was, that's over in the corner up here. I can see, um, oh, it looks like the Oscars, so I can see Oscar winners over here. If I go to browse this issue, each of those articles actually becomes clickable, so I could click on the Oscar article. Uh, a lot of the pictures were blocked for copyright, so that was not a fun article that I could have chosen. But if I go back to browse, I could choose a different article, um, something about defibrillators. And there you can see I can click on the article. The other thing that I can do by that page view PDF is to sort of zoom through the paper. So I can see that the paper was 60 pages this day. And if you come down to where the um, table of contents is, it's down here in the corner. If I was actually interested more in like the sports section, um, let's see, what have I got? Sports is in section D1. All right, so that means A, B, C are all in front. A looks like it goes to page 20, B goes to page 6, uh, C goes to page 10, so 36 pages in maybe. I'll hit section D. So I can come up here and say, oh, let's jump to page 36 and see what happens. And where did I end up? Uh, C6. All right, I'm not quite in D1. Definitely not in D1. Still definitely not in D1. You could either jump ahead a couple more pages. Clearly, I uh, did not identify exactly how many pages section C has, but there I am. Okay, so as you see, I can page through. So if you wanted particular sections, if you wanted to talk about particular uh, topics, sports, fashion, whatever, you can page through the paper, and that's pretty cool. So again, I could then do browse and click on particular articles if they stood out for me. So the New York Times is pretty neat. Um, if I wanted to do that, let me just go back to browse and hopefully I stay where I am. Nope. And did I happen to notice? Well, I said page 36 and that didn't work. So let me go to page 40. Oh, I must enter a valid page number. Um, okay. So that's clearly not going to work, but there's a way to make this work so that I could pick a particular article. I'm just going to grab this one just to demonstrate. So once you do have a particular article, um, there are options. I could print it. I could email it. Let's see. Up oh, there they are. So email, print, download. Again, all library databases have these options. So this was just a very quick walk through this English 100 guide. There is a whole box up here of websites. Now, obviously, there's a ton of websites out there that you could look at to see what was happening. We've just picked a, a couple of different random ones uh, that are good or useful. Clearly, you can 
search for your own or you can come through a couple of these. I didn't spend any time really on websites because I'm pretty sure you guys can all figure out how to find a website that's got what happened on this date. Uh, lastly, I do just want to do a quick point out to if you run into any problems with this assignment, please don't hesitate to reach out to us when the library is open. You can call us, you can chat with us when we're open, and if we're not, you can always email us and we'll get back to you as soon as we can uh, once the library reopens. I think that you will find there's a lot of materials out there for this assignment, and I think that you will have fun doing it. So please explore, go out and find out what day of the week you were born on, and learn about your birthday.